Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jai Gobind and this is your channel for Grace. I'm so excited for this April 2020 uh, prediction pick a card because this month is going to be a very, very powerful month. Astrologically, we have one of the most powerful transits of the year, which is actually happening this week on April 4th. It is the Jupiter uh, Pluto conjunction in Capricorn, which doesn't happen very often. If you actually want to know more about the astrology of the next three months and you didn't get to sign up for my webinar, make sure that you do that. It's a, the replay video is for sale now for $10. You can purchase it by um, going to the description of this video and clicking on the link. Um, you can also get it at my website, channelforgrace.guru. But this in this reading, we're going to go over, um, we're going to look at these four pals. You're going to pick the one that's the most important um, or the one that calls you the most intuitively. Use your intuition for sure. And I'm going to let you think about that while I tell you a little bit more about what's happening this week. So we've got live readings on Friday. Uh, April 3rd. If you want to get on the list for those, it's $25 to my PayPal. All the instructions are in the description of the video. And like I mentioned, on April 4th, which is this uh, Saturday coming up, we're going to be doing a global meditation together here on the channel. This is, I'm leading this meditation, but it's actually going to be a part of a global meditation that's going to be led by many groups, many spiritual groups around the globe. And they need as many meditators as possible to do this together on that very specific day because the Jupiter Pluto conjunction is actually a portal that will be opening up in the sky. And I will be also uploading a video about that portal and talking about the significance of that day and the astrology of that day this week as well. So lots of amazing uh, and powerful changes coming up today. What I want you to do right now is to look at these four piles of cards and take a moment to choose which one calls you the most. And once you pick that pile, go into the description box or into the comments box where I have pinned a comment to click on the timestamp for your reading. This will give you your theme for the month. It'll give you um, tarot card uh, messages for the month, astrological influences, your spirit guide for the month, your uh, specific crystal, your animal spirit for the month, and then three oracle cards that we're gonna look at as well. So this is how I normally do my monthly readings. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and please give the video a thumbs up and also hit that notification bell. All right, let's get into the readings. All right, pile number one. There is very strong energy in your reading. I'm just going to say that right off the bat. Your theme for the month is the moon. Luna means moon in Spanish. And you've got these four tarot cards following the theme, which are the page of crystals, the six of wands, the five of crystals, and the tower card. So the first card, the moon, is... What, I, what I'm going to tell you is that this month is a moon about dealing with your emotions. The moon is about facing your fears and the moon has, has, you know, controls the tides, which is the water element, which is the emotions. So when there is a full moon, um, we feel the, the emotional pull to, to really feel deeply and things intensify, energy intensifies. By the way, we are going to have actually a full moon in Libra on April 7th, which will be affecting you very strongly. But this moon is about you facing your fears, about facing your emotions. You're you're gonna be what I'm. You're gonna be going through a, like some ups and downs emotionally this month. The moon. Pay attention to the phases of the moon and the signs that it's in um, for this month because I think it's really gonna be affecting you. If I actually um, release a moon magic report every Wednesday, so if you're not part of my newsletter, make sure you sign up for it. There's a link in the description. Um, because it'll actually tell you the phase and the sign that the moon is in for every single day of the week and that goes out weekly. So I recommend that for you if you pick this reading. Now let's go to the tarot cards. The page of crystals, which is the first card here. Now the page of crystals is a seeker of knowledge. Um, this person wants to understand, wants to know, and I think that this represents you and your desire to really, the, the reason that you're having um, such a um, an intensified emotional month is because you actually are being sort of pushed to discover your truth and the reason you're being pushed to discover your truth is because the six of wands 
is the card of the leader. And in order to be a leader, there's there's certain things you got to face about your past. There's, you know, the trauma needs to be healed. Um, wounds need to be healed. And all of those things, it really all comes back to our emotions and how we not only handle our emotions, you know, within relationships, but also within ourselves and what comes up emotionally for us when things happen in our life. The Five of Crystals is an interesting card here and also the Tower. So the Five of Crystals is, it's like a, 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 a situation where someone feels maybe like they lo they've lost their faith. It's almost like um, you're begging, you're in a place of being the beggar. Uh, you're begging for help. Um, you might be feeling like you're kind of freaking out right now. Um, you're unsure of what's happening and that's what's causing a lot of the fear. The moon being here is like brings up all the emotions. So you might be feeling a little bit of fear when it comes to being unsure of what um, is coming next. And there is a darkness energy to the moon. I mean, the moon, we, we, when we see the moon, it really, it rules the nighttime really. Uh, because at night is when we actually see it very, very clearly. But it is also reflecting the light of the sun. And the sun is our, it's yourself, it's your identity, it's, it's your ego in a sense, it's your soul. It wants, to, it wants to be itself. And the moon reflects it. And so the moon makes you look within. It's almost like it holds up the mirror and it really makes you go within. You're going through this process this month of an emotional sort of cleansing with the tower card that's the cleansing and the cleansing needs to happen because you got to get rid of this five of crystals energy you got to get rid of this lack of faith you got to get rid of this you know uh like spiritual impoverishment you have to your faith has to come back to you and it will only happen if you seek the knowledge if you don't get lost in your emotions your three astrological um, influences are you got mercury retrograde you've got the yacht of destiny and you got aries um, i am and when we think about the dynamic of these cards um, there's a lot of astrological information that i could bring into this reading um, for example right now the sun is actually in aries we are in aries season um, and we are moving towards a full moon. So the sun and the moon, like I mentioned in a, in a moment ago, they reflect each other. They're the luminaries. And so they, they shine a light and they show you things about yourself. And I think you're, you're because Aries is the sign that, it, that has to find its courage. That's your journey. And this is part of your destiny. You know, getting the Yod card, that, that, this is a symbolism of destiny. This is God pointing you in the right direction, telling you, you know, this is where you need to go. And having the Mercury retrograde, this is Mercury retrograde is always a time of introspection, of looking, looking within, going within. Um, and significantly enough, Mercury is actually going to go retrograde this summer in the sign of Cancer, which is ruled by the moon. So there's a lot of connections here for, you know, the next the next sort of the theme for the next kind of few months for you, not just April, but they're kind of intertwining here and they're reminding you that this is an inner reflective process that you're going through. It's part of your destiny. God is pointing you in the right direction and it's pointing you towards courage. Now, these are your three Oracle cards. Um, you've got wait. It's not time yet. Things are being woven. So if you're feeling um, antsy, if you're feeling like, um, like you can't wait anymore if you feel like you just want to take action the universe is saying just hold on a minute there's something that you haven't seen yet slow down a little bit go within do that inner introspective process and you'll find the answers that you're actually looking for you also get the full moon in scorpio and the message from this moon is it's time to release negativity it's time to release negativity your third card is protection i feel like um the one thing that you can't forget right now is that there's you are protected. You have protection around you. Your spirit guides, your angels and teachers are sending you a message saying, you're going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. And you just have to really trust. You have to find, you have to find that faith again. Your, um, your teacher, your spirit guide um, for this month that will guide you through this journey is the divine director. 
and he teaches about intervention and purpose. Divine intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your purpose. So again, the Yacht of Destiny, remember you got that. The Yacht of Destiny is pointing you in the right direction, but that Yacht card and this Divine Director point to the same message that you are actually, like there's divine intervention. You really are being guided in the right direction. So you have to trust in that process. And yours is going to have to do with a lot of um, moon energy, emotions, and the sacred divine feminine too, if I can add that to the symbolism of the moon. The crystal that you get for the month is labradorite. Now labradorite is actually the crystal of magic. And you can use labradorite to activate and, and connect to the higher dimensions and activate your higher chakras and literally become the alchemist um, tapping into your ability to to be like that high priestess the alchemist and and create and manifest in your life people use labradorite to go on astral journeys to guide them into the higher dimensions I would recommend you get yourself Labradorite if you don't have any, or if you have some, just you know, hold it in your hands, meditate with it this month. This is also the Stone of the High Priestess, which is also basically rules sort of the energy of the moon, the moon goddess. She's like the High Priestess, and Labradorite is the stone that she works with more than any other stone. Now, the animal spirit that you get is the crow. And believe it or not, the crow is also about magic. The crow um, takes you into those realms that we're a little bit afraid to go into. And that's that darkness energy that the moon represents, the night, you know, the night sky, the owl. Um, but the crow is will guide you through. The crow is your spirit guide. And, and the crow knows how to travel through the realms of magic. So that this is actually a very beautiful message of you um, coming into your power, coming into your own, stepping into your courage by way of healing yourself emotionally, by healing all the emotional trauma. That's what the universe wants you to do. So good luck this month. Let me know how this resonated with you in the comments. And um, make sure if you have not watched the spring webinar that you do purchase it. It's in the description of this video below. Um, it's only $10 to buy that replay video, but it'll give you more insight into that Mercury retrograde that's happening in Cancer um, and also some of the aspects that are going on the full moon and also the Jupiter-Pluto conjunction that's going to be basically painting the theme for us for the next actually for the rest of the year. So um, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up and I will see you again next month. All right, pile number two. Let's see what we got for you. We have the strength card as your theme, which has the tiger and the fire energy, that, that Leo energy. And then you've got these four tarot cards, which are the two of wands, the temperance, the ace of cups, and the two of cups. There's fire and then there's a lot of water in this reading so this is um, a reading about um, your fiery emotions the things that um, you know that the fire actually water puts out fire but the strength card being the theme for you is saying that this sort of emotional um, and also relationship uh, focused month will help you find your inner strength. Now, the Two of Wands is a card about finding balance between your, like the sci your scientific side, so your mind, your thinking, your logical mind, your, your rationality, and your intuition and your creativity. It's about, you know, finding the in-between from the two. If you go too far to one side, um, you know, it doesn't work. If you go too far to the other side, you know, you get, you kind of get lost. But the, the message here, the overall message before I go further into any of these cards is that your the theme for this month for you is finding your strength by finding balance. And this has to do with your relationships. This is very much relationship related. Now this could be a relationship with, you know, your significant other, this feels like very romantic to me. This feels like this is definitely someone that you're intimate with or someone that you are, you know, maybe dating or you're thinking of, you know, coming closer to. This is the kind of relationship that this is um, 
bringing a message about. It could be, you know, soulmate, twin flame, you know, whatever, whatever it is that you are, um, whoever it is that this person, whoever it is that you are with, this is a message about your relationship with this person. The temperance card is healing and balance. Um, the ace of cups is a new beginning in love. And the two of cups is also two people that come together romantically. So every card here, <laughs> so the, you've got the, the number two is also repeating itself as well. Um, I see it here in the two of wands, which is also a card that says you, besides finding balance between, you know, your science, scientific side and your creative side, this is also, you could be meeting someone who has the compassion, you know, that you need to, to really truly understand each other. I see the two right here. There's, an, there's another two cups. Um, and then at the end we see the two cups. So this is like romance, 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 relationship, relationship, relationship. And it's also about balance, but you're heading in the right direction. There is a reading here, um, about you learning to find your strength through this relationship that, or through this sort of, um, situation that you might find yourself in right now. So let's take a look at the next cards. You get the solar eclipse card. These are the astrology cards. You also get the Cancer, uh, I feel, and you also get the Libra card of I balance. So the significance of these um, astrology, astrology cards is this. When you have a solar eclipse, it creates tension. It's like a revolution it transforms you it asks you it asks you to transform to change something about yourself um, something that is not no longer works has to be released now when you think about these next two cards cancer that's the sign ruled by the moon this has to do with your emotions and then if you think about the libra card that represents the relationship aspect so it's no coincidence that the libra card is coming up after all of those cups but you're looking for balance and it has to do with you tapping into your emotions, but it has to do with you shifting. Something is shifting this month in this relationship. Something will change, but it'll open up your perspective and whatever situation is coming up um, with this person, it'll actually open up your mind and, 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 and your perspective so that you can actually find your strength. Now you get the star family Oracle card. You also get the new moon in Aries. It's time to take action. And you also get the card of security. So these are very actually powerful cards. Now star, star family card, that's interesting. What this tells me is that this relationship is with someone that is actually, there's a deep connection here, a deep spiritual connection. They might be, um, a soulmate, they might be a twin flame, they might be someone, you know, that is here to teach you, or you might be light workers here on a mission, um, and you have found this person, um, and now this connection will help you, you know, move forward in your life. But it's also a card to help you remember that you're part of a team of souls. So, you, so whenever you feel lost, um, you can call in you know, support. You can, you can ask the universe, you can talk to your spirit guides, um, and tell them, you know, I need help. I don't know what to do here. I, I'm not sure how to, you know, what to think, what to feel. I'm not sure what to do. Um, because they will help you when it's time to actually take action and getting the new moon in Aries, uh, card, which we just, we just had a, a new moon in Aries. And that was the beginning of, the new astrological year, the very first new moon of the astrological year, because Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. And what that Aries new moon told us is one, yes, it's time to take action, but it's time to set your intentions for the whole year ahead. So this is tapping into that, that the energy of that new moon that we just had. And having the Libra card here as well, there's a, a connection between that new moon and the full moon in Libra that's coming on April 7th, this coming week. There's a polarity there. Aries needs independence. Aries needs to be its own person. It needs freedom to 
be out in the world and do its own thing. And Libra is all about relationships. Libra needs relationship. Libra needs to find, it, it, it identifies itself through the other. It finds fullness through the other. So again, you know, having this astrological polarity here of these two signs that are normally opposing each other um, and creating a duality, having this present here again brings in the aspect of balance. You are learning in this relationship that we're talking about here, you're learning to balance your need for independence with your need to actually have someone there to actually be in in the relationship and you have to find and you have you guys both have to find a rhythm and give each other enough independence but also be with be together in a way that both of you can flourish and both of you can actually um, help lift each other up spiritually because you are part of a star family of beings here to do a mission together this is a beautiful reading, you guys. I love how this is turning out. Um, let's take a look at your your uh, spiritual teacher. Now, your spiritual teacher is, her name is Bridget, and she teaches you about inner strength. <laughs> this is wild because, you know, we just got the card, you know, your theme was strength, and you see the lion, and you see the fire and then you look at this uh, spiritual teacher card and you see that she actually is also holding fire in her hands. Um, I believe that this, this, this is sort of confirmation for me that this relationship is really powerful and it is here to help you find your inner strength. It's almost like you've, you've, you've found your other half and you are here to work together. Wow, that's really intense. But the card actually says, move back to wholeness. Recognize that you have the power. That's interesting because when I was just talking about the duality between Aries and Libra, right? Independence versus relationship. Moving back to wholeness is actually the transcendence of that duality and finding that perfect balance, which is like what this entire reading is all about. So it's asking you to move back to wholeness, to when everyone, they, it all becomes one. There's a powerful activation going on here for you this month. Your stone or crystal is black tourmaline. And black tourmaline is about setting healthy boundaries, repelling and dispelling unwanted energies, and shielding and protection, and healthy independence. Wow, that is crazy. I love how all these cards kind of match together. But there is a saying that good fences make good neighbors. Well, well-being likewise requires healthy boundaries that respect everyone's uniqueness, similarities, and differences. The appearance of black tourmaline spirit is a sign that now is the time to make sure those fences are neither impenetrable walls nor so porous and broken down that you can start to lose track of where you end and others begin. It's invigorating to move between alone time and together time. Maybe you need to be with some extroverts for a while or maybe you need a long evening alone with a good book. If you're feeling, if you've been feeling tired lately, pay attention to whether you're neglecting yourself at some level, giving too much suffering from empathy overload or depending too much on someone else and crowding them. This is talking literally about the duality between Aries and Libra. You may need some downtime to remind you that you are a human being, not a human doing. You do have to earn love through perpetual self sacrifice You do not have to earn love through perpetual sacrifice, nor do you have to feel overwhelmed and needy. Healthy boundaries mean leaning on others in a balanced way. And Black Tourmaline Spirit is here to nudge you to be mindful of when you need time to yourself and when you need to be among those who accept you exactly as you are. That's really amazing. And your spirit guide for the month is the mouse. I think mice are really cute. But um, what this card really means is the mouse, the mouse um, is about scrutiny. It's about like scrutinizing yourself. Um, the mouse also focuses so much on the details that it, it, it loses sight of the bigger picture. So the message is, don't get lost in the details. See the bigger picture. Don't scrutinize yourself. 
watch everything unravel. Set the healthy boundaries. Find the transcendence between those two dualities of independence versus, you know, relationship. And spark that inner fire and help this relationship find balance and cohesiveness so that you can both rise with your inner strength. I hope that this reading resonated with you. Let me know in the comments how it did. And make sure that you, um, if you haven't yet, uh, definitely go purchase the spring webinar. It's available for $10 to buy the replay and the link is in the description of this video, Satnam, and I will see you next month. All right, pal number three, the theme for you is the tower card. And then the four tarot cards that complete the theme are the universe, the sun, the chariot, and the knight of crystals. Now you've got three major arcana, so don't worry about the tower card. Don't freak out about the tower card. Um, what it's saying to me is like the tower card is your starting point and it's going to lead you to all of these amazing things right off the bat. That's what I see. Now the tower, when you look, when you think about the tower, what does the tower represent? Well, it represents things falling apart. This has a lot of Pluto energy because the tower is actually, uh, the Scorpio energy and, and Pluto is ruled by Scorpio and Pluto and Jupiter are actually going to be conjuncting very soon on april 4th so this month for you there's big changes you might start this month already feeling like okay things are upside down literally upside down so it can't get any worse than this that's your starting point what's coming out what's coming from this what's coming from this is the universe has a very powerful lesson to teach you and the lesson is that you are taking back your power the sun is a representation of your soul, your inner being. You're connecting with your inner being. And that inner being is, is your gateway, your key, the chariot, to um, finally finding um, yourself in a grounded space as the knight of crystals, but in a place of responsibility and being in control of your life. Now, that may be hard to believe, but that's what's going on. And that's what I see in this, in this reading you get the um, Uranus card that's also a card of transformation and also um, the Kundalini rising the energy awakening um, and electricity new ideas Gemini and then the next one is Virgo so Gemini and Virgo are both the rulers of Mercury so what I, I, I feel Mercury's presence here very strongly um, you are um, learning to communicate better you're learning to think and process things in a new way, Uranus, and you are also learning to analyze things at a deeper perspective. And this analysis and this, you know, rethinking, um, this sort of mind altering experience that you're going to have this month in regards to your connection to your soul, your deeper connection to your soul and your realization of your own inner strength and power um, is, is guided by your ability to um, really start to see things more clearly and that's mercury and your ability to also communicate that as well now right now is a time for you to don't try to rush things don't try to force things definitely trust your intuition baby steps are what you need to take action follow your intuition before it makes sense the next card believe it or not, is the full moon, which is about surrendering to the divine. So again, everything in this reading is like surrender, surrender, surrender. You definitely don't want to resist a tower moment. You don't want to resist, resist tower moments because the more you resist them, the higher, it's like the higher you fall or the, the higher you fall from. When the tower moment comes, usually we feel the tension, we feel the stress, we feel the uncertainty, we feel the fear. And we are so afraid to let go that we hold on, we hold on, we hold on. And the more we hold on, when the, it's, like, it's almost like the higher the tower gets and the higher you're going to fall. Because if you're able to surrender to what's happening, surrender to this shift, this is a vibrational frequency shift. Like I see you rising to a different dimension. I see you understanding things from a different level. I see you being able to um, analyze things in a way where you see that higher perspective and literally transforming the way you think 
and see the world. That's what's happening this month for you. Your, your way of seeing the world, your perspective is going to completely change. And if you allow yourself, you surrender to that change and to that shift, that's where you're going to find um, your happiness. And that's where you're going to finally find your, um, your comfort. Um, you're going to, you're going to bring that, that calmness and that grounded energy back. And you're going to feel like you're in control. You also get the focus card and the focus card matches with the two Mercury ruled signs, Gemini and Virgo. When you focus your mind, when you focus your mind, you can literally come, you can literally be the calm through the center of the storm. Lord Shiva is here as your spirit guide for the month to help you through this transcendence, through this transformation. He says, rise up, honor your inner force. Steps are being given, dance with the universe. And again, there's that theme of surrender. Dancing is, the, is, a, is like that theme of surrender. Your crystal is Lemurian quartz. And Lemurian quartz has the ability to connect you to Lemuria and to go back to maybe any past lives you've had in Lemuria and um, connect to the being that you were when you were alive in Lemuria and receive the messages and the knowledge from that being and then through the through the transcendence of you know your spirit you're literally collecting that information like this could literally be happening for you right now this month that's why you have to surrender to the shift and the change it's gonna your old belief systems are gonna die and and new belief systems will take their place but these belief systems will be aligned with your destiny aligned with your soul purpose the spirit guide that you get this week is the starfish the starfish is it's almost like a fun energy um starfish are i mean their purpose really is like to just be beautiful and cool and to just kind of shine and always be happy you know um and it's also about uh understanding your own inner beauty and um knowing that also on the other side of the message or like the shadow side is like everything is not all about you know the way things look things are things are not that shallow right we understand this at a concept level but for you it's a message that's coming through um is that things are not always what they seem things are not always about the looks you have to dive deeper and that's the message that the starfish is bringing for you you have to dive deeper and you have to surrender to the process so i hope this reading resonated with you if you haven't yet uh, watch the spring webinar make sure that you purchase it it's only ten dollars the link is below it'll give you all of the astrology for the next three months including the saturn the jupiter pluto conjunction that's happening on the fourth um, the next three months are very very powerful shift shifting energy it'll give you a lot of insight in relation to this reading as well so thank you for watching and i will see you again next month satnam all right pawn number four Four. This is actually probably to me the most interesting reading of this pile because there's so many like deep symbolic things coming out of these cards. Let's just go, let's just start and see what comes out. Um, the theme for you is transition. I think this is the death card, um, major arcana in the traditional tarot. But what I, <laughs> when I look at this card, this is the card that really drew my attention. So what you see in this card is a woman laying down. It looks like she may have just died or it looks like she's literally astral traveling. She's leaving her body and she's going through a portal, which is the same thing as death, right? Like, like transcending, transitioning um, is a phase that you're in right now. This month of April is a month of trans transition for you. And I feel like what's coming is a lot of spiritual knowledge um, and ascending to a higher frequency a higher level of being the queen of crystals is about mastering your ability to manifest and using your creative skills to move forward in life the ace of swords is new ideas coming into your life a new beginning when it comes to ideas clarity of mind as well um now the oppression card is interesting because in this card you can see she's kind of like covered up um, now there's kind of two meanings to this card. This is, this is to me, 
in her hands with her hands being out and the you know the, the planets and the galaxies being right there it's almost like she fully trusts her power like she doesn't even need to see or look she just knows right there's an inner knowing the other the other meaning the shadow side of this meaning is of this card um is being you know there being a veil over your eyes and you not being able to see clearly what's going on almost like okay i'm 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 i'm, I'm shit out of luck you know like well, i don't know what to do now i'm feeling a little bit vulnerable so there's vulnerability that comes with this card there's also you know full trust that comes with this card now oppression um is i think this is the I think it's the devil card, but I'm not sure. But but what it what it brings up is if there's things that are oppressing you, that are holding you down, it's time for you to let them go. It's time for you to release them. And you can literally feel the pressure being released in this card when she becomes her soul and she becomes her spirit and she just floats away <laughs> into through the portal. And there is a portal opening up this um, month. It is on April 4th. Saturday, April 4th, where we will be doing the global meditation. Make sure, I highly recommend, if you pick this pile, that you show up for that meditation on Saturday evening to meditate with us together, the whole world together. The more people, the merrier. But for you especially, because I see this portal in this card, I feel like there's some symbolism there, some connection to the actual portal of the Jupiter-Pluto conjunction happening on April 4th. You are stepping into your power. All of these things are leading, leading to the emperor which is you stepping into your power. So the journey that you're taking, this transition that you're going through this month will, will take you to this, um, through this journey of discovering your own creative power, finding clarity in your life, releasing things that no longer serve you, and then stepping into your power fully, becoming your own authority. You've got the Neptune card, and Neptune is about dreams. Um, it's about, you know, emotions as well. You've got the Grand Cross, which brings up the sort of tension. And I feel like if you, so there's, this card kind of aligns with the suppression card. There's a tension, there's a stress that comes with accepting that change needs to happen. And it is that tension like squares do in astrology, they challenge you to change. They challenge you to do something different. You're being challenged right now to take a different route, do something different. And the third card you get is the 11th house of friendships, but also of sharing your own gifts with the world. You will share your gifts with the world once you step into your power. You're being asked to step into your power. Neptune wants you to connect your intuition. Listen to your heart, right? Go like travel to the Akashic Records. Travel to the history of your soul. Understand yourself from the inside. She has her eyes closed. This and this are similar. And this, look at that. Can't see, Could, totally covered, eyes covered, eyes closed, not even looking forward, just going off into the distance. This is a very dreamy and sort of um, quiet energy, but also very deep. And Neptune rules Pisces. He is also um, um, the ruler of the sea, right? So this is the ocean. This is the deep, deep depths of the ocean. You're being called to go on a journey of discovering something that you've never seen before. But you, but you have to take this journey. You have to go with it and you have to let it take you deep into the, the underworld um, or deep into the Akashic records and deep into you know the deepest depths of the ocean where there is an unknown energy and that fear of the unknown um, you have to overcome by taking that journey it, it's a leap of faith it's a leap of faith to go from like okay i am here in the 3d to oh my god i'm in another dimension right it's it's hard to even think about because we're afraid of the unknown but you are being asked to step into your power and and step into your authority now you get watering the garden um, this is about taking care of yourself, nourish yourself, um, being, be tender with yourself and rest. Because if you're literally having these powerful epic dreams and, and going on these epic journeys, astral travel journeys into the universe, your, your body like needs to calibrate and needs to balance 
So taking care of your body, your physical body is really important for you to do for this month. You are, because you will be going through, if you haven't yet experienced them, you will be going through some major um, energetic shifts, even maybe like ascending to a higher frequency. Also, you get the mutable moon. So this is about being flexible, knowing that nothing um, is yet set in stone. So you can still, there's still time to change, right? There's still time. That's what it's saying. There's still time. Don't worry. You're not running out of time. And then you get the card of adventure. So it's like you're going on a very powerful adventure this month. And I am really excited for you. It might sound scary. It might be like, I don't know what she's talking about. But just trust me, you will feel the subtle differences in your energy field as the month progresses, especially remember on that April 4th day. Your teacher is, your spirit, spirit guide for the month is Sanat Kumara. He is all about light activation. He says for you to shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. Yep, it definitely is. You get um, green adventuring. And let's pull up what green adventuring is all about. Um, it's good luck. It's fortune. Um, potential possibility new opportunities i love that possibilities for experiences your soul craves are everywhere offering new opportunities to help you find your purpose the gate to the field of infinite potential is always open that is crazy that's a gate to infinite potentials like what for the conscious universe wants you to enjoy the bounty that exists in the realm of possibility and bring it to form through the power of co-creation. Cast fears and regrets aside, says Green Adventuring Spirit, for you are much loved and the conscious universe wants to give you all that you desire. The universe is always dreaming, Neptune, dreaming up new ways to bring you what you need and help you experience well-being, joy and fulfillment. I love that. And then the animal spirit that you get is the shark. Now, here's the interesting thing about the shark. You, okay, what this to me, what this animal says to me is the shark is going to push you. The shark is the grand cross. <laughs> the shark is the provoker. When the shark comes around, he circles you, <laughs> right? There's that circle energy again right here. So the shark circles you and it circles you and gets, you know, it, it closes in and it closes in and it closes in and you can't do anything and it's going to make you like either you're going to like run, but it's going to make you face it. It's going to make you face that fear. <laughs> it's going to like push you into action. And that is what uh, he's doing right here. So if you're on the fence, the shark is going to help you to stop being on the fence. <laughs> Well, I hope that this reading resonated uh, for you. Let me know in the comments how it did. And if you have not watched the spring webinar, definitely go purchase that video. It is $10. The link is in the description of the video. And um, it'll give you insight into the next three months astrologically. I will see you guys next month. And I hope you have an amazing, transitional, powerful, epic April 2020. Satnam.